M0FXB, welcome to my videos learning how to use the new Yesu FT5DR. FXB, just a quick one on the APRS. I've got my external antenna connected here, just with an adapter. We're uh, transmitting and replying to messages on APRS and receiving APRS. We're also receiving on the A band, uh, we've got the my hubnet node. So we can listen to that. And on the B band, we've got 144800 selected for APRS FM simplex. Now I'll go into the settings, but we'll just quickly show you what we're receiving. F menu. You can beak NTX if you want just by pushing that. We've got S list here. These are the stations coming in. I can select them by going tapping them. Or well, push F menu yeah, seems to work, and then turn the con the channel knob like so to get more information. Comments, Bristol repeater group, and go back. Select myself. There you go. Go back. Let's try M zero GOS. We know uh, that station and go through and comments and that's so this is all coming through via my collinear that's in the loft <coughs> we've got a message come in there so we can select that and and see what the message is or we can reply we tap it again we can reply <coughs> Let's go H. Let's go I. MTX. Let's go back and then message TX. And that gets sent out. You've seen it go red for transmit then. And I get a copy as well by the looks of it. Let's turn that down. Hit F menu again. We've got message list, there's messages coming in, we can reply, let's select one, there you go, now I was trying to see why I couldn't read the whole lot, because there's message 03, I couldn't really, let me know how I do this, because I couldn't see how to read the actual message, there's the message, we can tap F menu, and look, you just see in the top bit there, so, I mean, we can clear it. No, it's not even letting us do that. So then, let me know if there's another bit there that I'm missing. So I can actually read the message. But anyway, the messages are coming in. F menu, go back to station list. Let's go back up. We'll turn the modem off in a minute. So we'll select another one. And you get the idea of what you're receiving there. Now I'll show you just before we go, I'll just show you my menu settings. So F menu, APRS, start at the top. Haven't changed AF dual or APRS destination, APS filter, haven't changed that. But number four, I have changed modem. I've turned that on, press F menu and I've turned that on to 1200. Message flash, I haven't changed that. Message group, I haven't changed that. Let's just dim it a bit, make sure you can't, you can see it, okay? To dim, you just go F menu, display, lamp brightness, and just go down a bit, so it's not too glary. Right, F menu, APRS, APRS text, yeah, I have, no, I've left that as default. APRS message, I did add one there. Southwest UK on number one. The modem, of course, you've got to turn that on. Just double check I said that. APRS mute, that stops you hearing the horrible noises. If I put that on, you'll stop hearing the, the noises of APRS. Pop up is just the time. APRS ring, I haven't done that. APRS units haven't changed. APRS TX delay haven't changed. Beacon info, 
I haven't changed that. Beacon interval, yeah, I set that at three minutes. Probably better to set it more like five. Bacon status text on. And then press F menu. And then you can go edit. And I'll just put my name for now. And that will come up on APR SFI. Get it all in there. My name and I go space and I just put 7-3. For now, I think you just go back. Yeah, just go back. Hopefully that's in there now. Yeah, it is. So go back. And that will come up on a and we'll test it in a minute. Um, so, go back into the menu, hold F menu, APRS, Beacon TX we've done, Comport didn't change, Digipath didn't change, GPS setup, I haven't changed that, Power, yeah, you need that on, so, so you need a lock, GPS on, GPS time, that's auto, GPS unit, haven't changed, APRS call sign, definitely important that you you do that I've done number dash 10 for now position I've selected GPS my symbol I've selected just a man walking but you can change that position comment on route I've selected smart beaconing time zone I've done plus one hour for UK and that's it now if we before we get a flat battery here um, we're gonna just do another TX F menu. Got a few things coming in there. Good. We want the B band we've selected. We've got the see the A12 flashing and the circular. So we've got F menu. Just beacon TX, and we'll see if we can see ourselves on um, A per S F I. Let's have a quick look. So we'll just go. Yeah, there it is. There. So I'll just show you that. So there I am, Andrea73, and it's en route. It's got all my details and the right time as well, which is 9, 9, 9.21, is it? And let's just do another search. We'll just put my call sign in here, M0FXB-10. And then we'll hit search. And then we come up with this here. That's the latest search. So yeah, 7.3. Hope you find this useful. Obviously, if you're outside, if you're out and about, and you're on a hill, you're going to get all these, all these uh, messages. But if you're inside the house, it's better to use an external antenna, which I just connected it to my, my collinear. So seven three Yesu FT five APRS setup. All the best. Bye for now.